Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be modifying this corset. I'm going to be adding a couple of more grommets into the back here. Um, when I put down my measuring tape, you'll see that the grommets were set quite unevenly. There is about an inch and a half difference between this one, a little bit less than an inch and a half between these two, a little bit less than an inch between these two, and um, up here above the waist it's fairly equal but not perfect. But my main concern is the fact that there are not enough grommets here. The grommets are too far apart and that causes bowing and bending in the back. So I'm going to add some matching grommets in the back here. And what I'm going to be using to set the grommets is this setter here. It's the Home Pro LR. The LR stands for Long Reach. Now it has gotten a lot of mixed reviews online and I just decided to bite the bullet and try one for myself. I found that there are certain things that you need to do to make sure that the grommets are put in very sturdy and that they don't rip out or anything like that. Um, it's cast iron, so it's, it's quite heavy, but it does have screws that you can screw it down. And it comes with multiple dies if you want to order it with multiple dies. So I have dies for um, type zero grommets and also type double zero grommets. I do have a punch for the type double zero grommets, but I don't use that unless um, I am dealing with particularly tough fabric. And I only use the type double zero punch when I'm using the type zero grommet so that the hole is actually smaller than the grommet itself. So it still needs to be stretched. I also put fray check on the hole before I actually press this in so that makes sure that the fabric is not going to fray around the grommet. So here's the corset and you can see that I've unlaced the bottom half of it. I don't really need to touch the top half and what I'm going to be doing is just putting in four more grommets. So I'm measuring the distance between these two grommets here and they appear to be um, one and three quarters inch apart. So I'm just going to go right in the middle of that and put an extra grommet equidistance between those two. I'm going to do the same thing with grommets two and three right here. Just uh, mark out a spot where I can put in a grommet equidistant between those two. And I'm going to do the same for the other side here. Next, I'm going to show two different ways to make a hole. The first way, I'm going to use a tailor's awl like this. It's extremely sharp. And I'm going to just stick it into this mark right there. And I'm just going to twist it. And you can see it's coming through the other side. And keep twisting. And you should not be feeling fibers break. Um, if you're being gentle enough, but have a firm enough pressure, then the, most of the fibers should spread apart instead of actually breaking and snapping. And the second way that I'm going to make a hole is using these punch dies with a setter. So you can see this side has little pointy bits and that's the part that actually cuts the fibers. And then this part has uh, a hole, so it's basically just hollow. So when the two come together like this, this is going to punch the hole and then the loose fibers, when they break off, they can just fall through that hole right there so it doesn't get clogged. So here is the hole that I had stretched with the awl and now I'm going to punch a hole right there using this setter. Line it up and press down. And I'm just going to use it all here to poke out the fibers. Give it a little clip. And there you go, you have a hole. The next part is to use your awl or something similar like an ice pick to widen the hole just large enough to let these size zero grommets through. Remember, even though I had punched a hole before, those were holes that were made for the size double zero grommets, which are just a little bit smaller than the size zero grommets. This way, the hole won't be too large and won't fray too much because it still needs to be stretched slightly to let the grommet through. So I'm just twisting it here and then putting the grommet through, stretching 
the material around the neck. And you can see that the grommet I have here is a perfect match to the other grommets. And here you can see that the hole is stretched and the neck of the grommet is pushed through. The next part is optional, but I always do it when I'm putting in grommets. I use something like a fray stop or a fray check and I just dab it around the neck of that top part of the grommet. When this dries, it will prevent the material from fraying and pulling away from the grommet. Next, you're going to take the washer of the grommet. So this is the flat part of the two-part grommet, the one that does not look like a top hat. And you're just going to place it on the underside of the grommet right there. If your fray check is drying, then it might feel a little bit tacky. And now what you're going to do is put this between the dies of the setter. And for the Home Pro LR, for this particular setter, you want the front part of the grommet to be on the bottom and the washer side to be on the top. How I usually do it is I push down gently. I lift it up to check and see that nothing is split. Then push down a little bit harder. Open it up and check it. And then push down as hard as you can. So I always do my grommets this way. I push down three times, each time a little bit harder. What this does is it allows the grommet to roll very gently so that it rolls instead of splitting. And it also helps you check to make sure that everything is aligned properly because if there is anything that is um, bent in the wrong way or if something is splitting, then it's a lot easier to take out a half set grommet than it is to take out a fully set grommet. So here you can see a grommet that the original corset maker had set and you can see that it's split right there. And here is the grommet that I just set with my setter and you can see that it's not split. It has rolled quite nicely and smoothly. Also a well set grommet, you should not be able to stick a fingernail in between the washer and the fabric. And same with the other side here. It should be quite snug and sturdy. And so here is the corset after I finished inserting four more grommets. So I inserted these two and also these two right there. So now I have more control when I'm tying up this corset, particularly below the waist.